Crying babies are a staple of many airplane rides, but they don't often cause a flight to turn around before takeoff. For Sarah Blackwood, singer of Canadian band Walk Off the Earth, that's exactly what happened on a recent flight. Sarah is joining us now from Vancouver, where the band is set to perform Friday night. Sarah, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having us. And is this your little one that caused uh, this, uh, the commotion? <laughs> This is this is the big threat right here. Yeah. OK, so what happened? Um, it was pretty basic. I mean, I've been traveling with my son since he was three weeks uh, old. Uh, oh, so we've uh, been uh, we've been on airplanes for almost two years. And, you know, I've never had an issue. People are always very sympathetic. Um, and it was just one of those days where he uh, he was really fussy. And he is, he's, a, he's still an infant, considered an infant. So he's sitting in my lap um, until he turns two. And, you know, I had to hold him. And he was being really squirmy and he was crying really loud. And, uh, and the lady came over to me and told me to control my child. <laughs> a passenger and, or a member of the airline crew? No, a member of the crew, the flight attendant. And, uh, you know, I looked at her. I'm seven months pregnant as well. So I looked at her and I said, you know, I'm... I have him in my lap, I'm doing the best that I can. I'm holding him and he's he's yelling and, and squirming, but I, I got him. And uh, and then she said, we'll have to ask you to leave the plane if you can't control your child. And, you know, I, I don't like to make a fuss. I don't like to make a big deal out of things. So I just, I said, okay, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. And, you know, I'm sorry. And, uh, and then about five minutes in, we had been taxiing for a little while. He fell fully asleep and they turned the plane around. So by the time we got to the gate, he was totally asleep on me and they sent another lady in to, to come take us off the airplane. Okay, so just so we're clear, the plane didn't take off, but they turned around while they were still on the runway to drop you off? Yeah. And did they explain that they were doing this to you? What were other passengers saying? Um, their explanation for the turnaround in general to begin with was the pilot came on the radio and or the thing and said that they uh, had to uh, refuel the plane uh, so that we could make it to Vancouver uh, faster, uh. which in my experience of flying sounded a little ridiculous because, I mean, wouldn't that be the first thing you do when you get to a gate is refuel a plane? But um, I wasn't, I was like, okay, so good. They're not actually turning around because <clears throat> they are going to take us off the flight. And then the lady came up once we got to the gate and asked me to get off the flight. And all of the passengers were disgusted. They were like, that's ridiculous. I have, I had people two rows behind me that I've been in touch with that said, you know, all I was doing was holding my child and trying to keep him close to me while we took off. And five to seven minutes in he fell asleep and by the time they turned the plane around and got to the gate he was fully asleep and then they asked us asked me to leave the plane all right well here's what sky west says the airline uh, that you were flying on they say that your son was not seated and was repeatedly in the aisle of the aircraft before departure and during taxi despite numerous requests um, they had to do this to ensure passenger safety. So how do you respond to that, the fact that they say he was in the aisle and, and it was jeopardizing safety? Um, well, one thing, I was in a window seat with someone beside me, so there's no way he could have been in the aisle. <laughs> um, and second thing that I had, I actually, the gentleman beside me whose contact I have, he, he turned to me at one point because I was like, I'm so sorry, like, I'm, my child's really loud right now. I'm sorry. And he, he turned to me and said, you know what? I have three kids. Don't worry about it. I've gone through it. It happens. You know, whatever. It's no big deal. So there's no way he could have been in the aisle. I was in a window seat. So I don't really know what, where that story came from. All right. Well, good luck to you. Uh, Sarah Blackwood, I'm glad you could join us. I think a lot of people will be divided on this whole issue. Uh, we appreciate Thank you, so much. you talking to us. Take care. Yeah, you too. Thank you.